Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And we have another death battle one for you today as we can move on. Now our mysterious teaser we got during our last death battle reaction video, it turns out it's going to be none other than the Power Dino, Rangers. The, the, the Dino Megazord. The Power Rangers Megazord versus Dino. Voltron. Defender of the Universe. Defender of the Universe, so. Yeah, um, now we grew up more with Power Rangers than... Voltron. Voltron. I mean, we, we do did watch. We, we do didn't... remember. We do remember. I, I'm gonna at least admit I do remember Voltron. I don't remember fully really watching it. I, I mean, I've seen a few episodes. And I'm wrong. Heard... It's still awesome. It's still awesome and for I, a lot of you guys. And so I've heard a lot. Respect. I've heard a lot of positive buzz around the sequel series. Um, they came out with. Yeah, the sequel series. That's on Netflix now. Yeah, yeah I've heard and a lot. And then the long rumored, which they keep always rumoring with the movie, live action movie they keep wanting to do for Voltron. Yeah. Now, I'll be perfectly honest. Um, this is not the first time I've seen some uh, one of my YouTubers, or uh, my internet guys, review, uh, do a versus between these two things. Um, for those who remember um, Spoonie Experiment, he tried to do this before, like, it was like right before Death Battle. It was called, like, Deadliest, like, um, Warrior or something. It was yeah, like yeah. a Deadliest uh, Warrior parody. Yeah, yeah. And he did a, kind of a parody of it where he had. Uh, Mega Dino Megazord go up against Voltron, and he had the Dino Megazord win, and it was really funny. Um, and I thought it was cool, but it, now we have Death Battle, and it's it's interesting to see you know when they put people together. So it's really obvious, but we're gonna still do it. Who do you think's gonna win? I do know. I honestly, because like I said, I sorry, fly. Um, I. I... Um, no, no, no. Um, I really don't know. I, for me, I want to say Power Rangers, but again, it's only because I know Power Rangers more about uh, than Voltron. Um, I'll probably get more interesting information from what they yeah, get. Yeah, I made a mistake last well, last week in, uh, doing a split second change of yeah. between Venom and Bane. I'm like, I kind of regret it, but I'm like, you know what? I'm still gonna stick with yeah, that. Yeah, but um, um, I say Power Rangers. Like I said, I barely know a little bit about Voltron, so. Maybe this may change my mind halfway through when they start telling us more information about Voltron. Yeah, Voltron's story is interesting because, remember, Voltron is not an individual thing. It's, Voltron is a mesh of, like, multiple different an old-school anime series put together. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, so, let's just dive right into this, into Power Rangers vs. Voltron. Death Battle. So, here we go. Hey, Mark. Hey, Mr. J. So now doing all this merch marketing, like these three awesome Death Battle t-shirts, can get kind of stressful. So we have some new office amenities that I think will help take the edge off. Like the new office jacuzzi. Shit, no thanks. You ever smelled a wet sauce before? All right, maybe a relaxing massage then. Meh, yeah, I got a fair hand. All right, how about a nice hot sauna? That's a toaster oven. That's my toaster, toaster oven, oven actually. That's a toaster oven. <laughs> Mark Bachman, you know, I got the sexiest shirt in the market. Death Battle shirt. You wear this, you're gonna find yourself in a sex battle. I don't know what that is, but I know you'll love it. What the fuck? You're gonna find yourself in a sex below. battle. You buy this shirt, or they're gonna eat me. It's finally time for one of the biggest matchups in Death Battle history. Yeah, the giant robot fight of all giant robot fights. The Megazord, the heavy-hitting yeah. mech commanded by five Power Rangers. And Voltron, the defender of the universe, piloted by five paladins. For this matchup, there will be no Dragon Sword, oh. no Galaxy Garrisons, no Robot Brachiosaurus, and no... No combinations. Mice. Just the good old... Oh, it's just, it's just, it's just the full version of them. Uh, this That's fine. Well, that's fair. That's fair. And it's our job to analyze their weapons. Armor and okay. skills to find out who would win a death battle. Ooh, look at the style of the That's cool. Since the dawn of time, good has battled the forces of evil. No the shit. vicious witch Rita Repulsa and her giant monsters waged war with the good natured galactic sage Zordon. Their 2,000 year war finally ended when Let's Rita real passed Zordon. Them into a time warp. But not before Zordon managed to lock her up in a space dumpster? Yes, apparently that thing is a space dumpster, or to put more accurately, a galactic recycling bin. Uh, however, Zordon knew it was only a matter of time before Rita escaped to conquer Earth once more. Good thing Zordon had thousands of years to come up with a foolproof plan. He could summon the five greatest warriors from around the galaxy to defend the planet. No. 
Teenagers, the ability to draw power from a dimension called the Morphin Grid. This molecular transmutation turns them into superhumans with access to mighty mechanical beasts called Zords, ah! becoming the mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Mastodon, Pterodactyl, Triceratops, Saber Two Tiger, Tyrannosaurus. Yeah, Jason Lee Scott, the Red Ranger. He's a fearless leader, expert martial artist, and owns one of the coolest swords of the bunch, Tyrannosaurus the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Billy Cranston, the Blue yeah! Ranger, is the genius of the group. He loves to work with machines, especially his impressive Triceratops Zord. With its grappling hook horns, this 140-ton behemoth can stop a foe in its tracks. Trini Kwan, the Yellow Ranger, is equal parts brains and martial arts specialist. She's a threat both outside and inside her speedy saber-toothed tiger sword. Kimberly Ann Hart, the Pink Ranger, is a smack-talking valley girl who has <laughs> a <laughs> <laughs> sword. Which Zordon can fly at two and a half times the speed of sound. Because that, yeah, that's what like said. At least there's Zach Taylor, the Black Ranger, who's mastered his own fighting style called Hip Hop Keto. Yeah, 90s martial arts style we thought would exist. Yep, this guy fights aliens with the power of dance, along with his Mastodon Zord. Although slow, this Zord can freeze blast enemies with ice. Or saran wrap if you're short on budget. <laughs> but when five giant mechanical beasts aren't enough to keep yes. the villains down, these machines join together to. We're just the coolest friggin' thing you've ever seen! Yeah! yeah. Bring them together! Bring them together! Is the Megazord. The Dino Megazord! The foot colossus with enough power to effortlessly tear down buildings. Sometimes on the All five Rangers pilot the Megazord as one, combining their own martial arts skills to defeat giant monsters. It's like a giant <laughs> Rock'em Suck'em robot with yeah. laser beams. It can fry enemies with its cranial laser, blast fireballs from its hands, shoot immobilizing beams from its eyes, and even use the Mastodon's face as, yeah, a, shield. as a shield. And when it's time to send the power sword. To the grave, they summon their Blade Ex Machina, the <laughs> Power Sword. Power. Little known fact, simply touching the Power Sword can recharge the Megazord if yep, it's yep. power. It's not just a battery. This giant sword is over 100 feet long and orbits the Earth when not in use. Plus, it can launch energy waves and cut down almost oh. any monster with just one swing. And there's even more. It's a surprisingly versatile weapon. Like with this feature they implemented against the Nasty Knights. Any energy we throw at him, he just reflects back at us. That's why our weapons aren't burned out. So what do we do about it? Reflect his energy back at him along with a bit of our own. I don't get it. Apparently, the Power Sword can absorb oncoming kinetic energy and turn it against the attacker, drastically increasing the Megazord's striking power. Well, after pummeling monsters every weekday afternoon, the Power Rangers have been through almost everything. From fighting a world-destroying dragon to a giant walking pumpkin who raps? Oh, you rage and make me mad! Oh, yeah, I remember that. that They've even fought Kimberly's purse. Man, yeah. These villains were getting desperate, and so were the riders. Anyway, the Megazord is strong enough to lift and throw the 170 ton Dragon Zord into a mountain with little effort. So long, gay Bowser! Even the individual <laughs> Zords can support the weight of whole monsters on their own. While many of these monsters should weigh similar to the Megazord, some certainly weigh even more. In fact, in a general scale, when you double the size of an object, its weight increases by a factor of eight. Comparing these organic monsters to human beings means some of them could weigh as much as 10,000 tons. And the Megazord even gut-punched one of them over a hundred feet into the air. Assuming that monster is 10,000 yeah, tons, lifting at 133 feet would require about 90 billion newtons of force. That's fine. That's all right. 50 times it's as much force as a space shuttle's launching thrust. That kind of strength, I bet you could backhand a person into outer space. That's oddly specific. 
<laughs> that can't swim into space. Oh, that's a nice. Yes. Capable of wiping out all life on Earth. They even went toe to toe with Cyclopses, a warzord designed to conquer entire worlds. But even for the Power Rangers, defending the Earth is no small job. When they least expect it, the Megazord's energy supply can be quickly exhausted in yeah. of combat. And it doesn't uh, it's why, it, it, why it's the awesome sword. It's also why it's the first sword. Megazord's yeah. awesome power is really lacking in the whole maneuverability department. Yeah. I mean, come on. It could at least try to avoid an attack. But when the enemy hits hard, the Power Rangers hit back even harder. With the fate of the world lying in their hands, no one can ever take them down. Bring him down. <laughs> Sadly, this, this segment exposed how big of Power Rangers are. Yeah. All right, now we get to see how it gets crushed by Voltron. Yeah. Long ago, from uncharted Things that we may not have not known at all. A legend. In less cryptic terms, 1,200 years ago, the evil Drool Empire nearly conquered the entire known universe. But not everybody was cool with fleets of ships shooting up their planets, so a team of scientists and magic priests decided to fight back. Through the marriage of magic and technology, they forced a 300-foot-tall living automaton, so powerful that it single-handedly pushed back the Empire's onslaught. Before long, the whole universe had heard of the mechanical knight known as Voltron. Okay, I remember the song. He yeah, yeah. was losing everything because of some space robot. The Empire's King Zarkon ordered a space witch to kill Voltron with a magic space spell. And it kind of work? Instead of being destroyed, Voltron was split up into five very merchandisable robot lines. Merchandisable. Divided uh -huh. and stripped of its sentience, the universe's best hope had fallen. Until five space explorers crash-landed on Eris, the exact same planet the lions just so happened to be hiding on. Destiny or some crap led them to the castle where the Princess Allura gave them a life-changing opportunity. Pilot the long lost lions and go around saving the universe for a living. Keith Cogain is the head of the Lion Force in more ways than one. As leader of the team, he Tim commands Tom. his cohorts and he pilots the Black Lion, the literal head of Voltron. Lance McLean is the Han Solo of the group. Right this hot headed show off controls the Red Lion, which forms Voltron's right arm. Suyoshi so Garrett, better oh, known as man. Hunk, is the muscle of the team. He pilots the Yellow Lion, which forms Voltron's left leg. The Blue Lion is piloted by Sven Holgersen. No, oh, he did. He no, did. Yeah. The Blue Lion is piloted by Princess Allura herself, taking over oh, wow, after the original that. pilot got yeah, a bad I heard about that. Her lion forms Voltron's right leg. Last up is Daryl Stoker. You can call him Pidge. Pidge pilots the Green Lion, Voltron's left arm. And he's also, well, a little unhinged. Pitch! Get rid of that grenade! This is 24. At least his outfit matches his lion's colors. I mean, damn, it's not that hard, people. And when all five lions combine, Voltron lives again. Activate Mega Thrusters! Form feet! He gets the sword, it's so fucking awesome. I know. This <laughs> That has to be, like, ridiculously nauseating. <laughs> well, undoubtedly, that's probably why they usually travel by flight and prefer long-range combat over hand-to-hand. -hand. Speaking of which, Voltron got busy fighting Zarkon's giant robe beast and saving the universe with a huge assortment of weapons. Voltron can shoot Stingray missiles and even pillars of flame out of its hands and feet, or blast the lion heads off like rockets. It can stun enemies with ion dart lasers from its head, or use the Electro Force cross attack from its chest. On Keith's command, the Lion Force can manifest Voltron's most powerful weapons out of thin air. Everything from spinning laser blades to javelins to nunchucks. But the real showstopper is the almighty Blazing Sword. sword. Blazing Sword! And what it is it? Voltron can slice through most Robies like Jello and dish out the Starfire attack, which splits Robies apart and also makes a friggin' tornado for good measure. The Blazing Sword can also conduct electricity to recharge Voltron itself, 
Why are all these swords also batteries? The blazing sword is enormously powerful, capable of destroying a satellite hundreds of times larger than Voltron. Voltron himself is powerful enough to melt meteors, kick giant machines sky high, and take explosions the size of countries. The Voltron lions have even traveled between so, galaxies. Oh, on a scale of fuck the day, fuck, how fucked fuck did the Mega Megazord? The Megazord is fucked. Voltron has also survived landing on the Omega Comet, which is so dense it possesses the gravitational force of a black hole. Okay, that all sounds insane, but even giant robot man lions have their limits. Like getting ganged up on by multiple row beasts at once, or getting stabbed and sliced open. But oh. like whole levels of gravity? <laughs> That's a gangwalk, right? Voltron may be strong, but it lacks the finesse and skill of one trained in martial arts. Voltron also carries a shocking design flaw. That's why they if did the this release plates on its battle. joints are struck in combat, it could jettison an entire limb from the core body. Wait, wait, wait. You're telling me that if I kick Voltron, Freaking Voltron in the shins hard enough, he'll just lose a leg and it'll just pop right off. Oh, Essentially, wow, okay. yes, though it has only happened in training. Even so, whether the lion forces up against a technical issue or a colossal robeast, the universe will depend on Voltron. <laughs> For the first time ever, I'm going. I'm going to say Voltron, but for the first time ever, I'm hoping I'm fucking wrong. I'm on the I'm on the same boat with him. Now I'm a man who likes a good home cooked meal, but going out to buy or hunt my own food is a hassle. If only there was some. Yeah, Voltron seems to have a lot of weaponry and a lot of shit you can do. Yeah. It has a lot of shit it can do and stuff, and like I said, Dino Megazord, there's a reason, while it's an awesome Megazord, it's the reason why it's the, only, it's the first Megazord. Yeah, that's it's the reason why it's the only the first, so, yeah, I'm still, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm on board with you, the same exact thing. Cause trust me, if it had the fucking, the, um, the Dino Megazord, the Dragon Zord, the Crossover Megazord, not the Ultra Zord, but the it probably have a little bit more of an advantage. Yeah, probably, most likely. But we'll, I think we're going to have to sit and see, because... Why is it that the ones we want are always the ones... The ones I want are always the ones that lose. Seriously, you will love how good it feels and tastes to create incredible home-cooked meals with Blue Apron. So don't wait. Can you tell me how to make tacos? Blue forward slash battle. But right now, it's time for a dead battle! Oh, Here we go. This is gonna be really cool. I like animation style. Hands on, team. Seems the prehistoric activity originates here. Finally, if I don't see a dinosaur today, I'm blaming you. <laughs> I'm picking up something. Power Rangers. Hello. We need dinosaur power now. No. <laughs> All right, Rangers, plug on! Zach here, this is Kick, this is Billy, all systems go! go. Team reporting, ready to rock! I love this part! Let's take these kids! For Voltron! I feel like it's kind of battle for whoever wins.
blazing sword. God, we got the voice actor as cheesy as the original voice actor. Megazord boasted excellent abilities in hand-to-hand -hand and sword combat, Voltron couldn't go down so easily. Voltron's huge arsenal put it ahead, especially in long range. Even when the Megazord could get in close, it couldn't keep up with Voltron's blazing speed. I mean, Voltron travels between galaxies in a matter of hours, and it can fly. The Megazord once punched a monster weighing at most 10,000 tons, 133 feet into the air. In contrast, Voltron kicked a 3,900 ton mutated bulldozer nearly 1,900 feet up. Despite Voltron's monster weighing less than the Megazords, this is still a more impressive feat. Comparing weight and distance traveled for both feats, Voltron's requires at least five and a half times more strength. Plus, Voltron clearly had the superior durability, especially with that black hole comet feat. Yeah, the Omega yeah. Comet's pull could destroy entire planets within 62 miles of itself. Which means the comic could output forces of over 13 That's right. I hate years. watching death battles. The Megazord so couldn't times. survive anything close to that level Enjoy of power. It. We can prove it. Later in Power Rangers history, they upgraded their mech to the Thunder Megazord, which is specifically stated to be more powerful than the original Megazord in every way. The new Zords will serve you well. Once mastered, your Zords will reveal even greater powers. When this new Megazord fought against a giant Zord called Serpentera, which at full power could destroy planets, a single blast from it easily tore the Thunder Megazord apart. And that blast didn't even use half of Serpentera's power. Voltron outclassed the Megazord in almost every way that counted, including strength, speed, and durability. Trust me, I'm not lying. The winner is Voltron. <laughs> Uh, just, I don't... Don't go away, we're about to reveal who's fighting in the next episode. And if you want to see behind-the-scenes commentary on this episode, then just click that box and start a 30-day free trial for a first membership. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Oh! I know who we are. It's Age versus Nuts. I know... Anime. Anime, okay. But... Again, uh, like I said, I got into what Voltron was all about. I knew the Megazord was fucked. <laughs> again, like, uh, like I, how I said, pretty much, like I said, I was going for Power Rangers because they said I only know Power Rangers. That's it. And like I said, I kind of figured it was gonna be Voltron because just how much Voltron has taken on. Yeah, I, when I, when he starts showing what Voltron's taking, I'm like, Voltron's. F I mean, uh, Megazord's uh, fucked. fucked. You know, Power Rangers are fucked. So. Like I said, it's it's something I was expecting. You know, it was awesome. It was, it was awesome to see, but it's still oh, hard yeah. to see because we grew up one while we only barely watched the other, pretty much. 
So, but it was it was awesome to watch just to see these two Megazords go at it. I mean, I wouldn't mind seeing Voltron go on against another like Power Rangers thing. Probably not. Um, probably not. But um, I did it. Like I said, that nod they did make to the Power Rangers film. If you haven't seen the film, we won't spoil it. But... We won't spoil it. But like I said, as you could tell, like I said, they made that nod <laughs> to it. Um, now, they, you know, after looking at Voltron, the Power Rangers film for their Megazord. They kind of took a little bit from Voltron, which is they each took a part of the leg compared to what they did in the original series, which they're all in a, in a chest. Yeah. They did which was they're in each part of the body. That's all yeah. I can really. I'm not really spoiling anything, anyways. But they're all they were each controlling a certain part of the body. Mm -hmm. So I mean, that's where they took a little bit from Voltron there. Um, but I love how they like I said I like watching these battles. I love watching the animations they do, and this one was awesome. You know, like you said, the voice work was very cheesy. You know, it's like how the originals were, um, but I enjoyed it. It was great. It was fun to see. It was hard, uh, hard for certain moments because we were like, uh, you're, you're afraid because you're like, I think I'm, I think what we're about to say. That's is why true. I stopped. Well, that's why I stopped. That's why I stopped watching a lot of well, death like, battles. Well, I don't watch. Like, like I said, I only I, I stop. I like I said, I only watch the ones that where I know the characters. So I don't watch every single one where it's like, who are they? You know, because I don't really know all of them. I like them to watch it to where I know both the characters or even. I know more of one character, like this one originally. I know I knew more of one character, but I still knew what Voltron was, mm -hmm. you know. But again, like I said, I enjoyed it. Uh, it was it, it was awesome because, like I said, the Voltron has gone through more than the Megazord has. Yeah, you know, as you can tell, it has gone through so much more than it has, especially when it's in space. So it's, it was it was cool to see though. But yeah, but I think yeah, overall we, we enjoyed it regardless of who won. Yeah, we got the one. We still enjoyed it. We had a great time. Yeah, so other than that, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And I feel like it's just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about stuff like this. Subscribe down below or at the end of this video. And again, just let us know what you, uh, what you thought. You, do you think the Power Rangers should have won? Uh, comment down with the thoughts below, down below. Um, I mean, or even if you do agree. I mean, again, just comment down a little. Let us know what you think of the battle. Do you think it was it was fair enough for these two comp uh, opponents? Um, just let us know. Comment down yeah. below. So until next time, I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And that was a very not so more phenomenal episode of SRP. Until the next death battle, we'll see ya later. Hey, if you want to see any of our previous videos related to this video or just pre watch our previous videos, just. Click to the side and check it out. Also, you can also check out our other stuff besides this one, including our SRB TV stuff and much, much more. All right. See ya. Later.